Look, the numbers are undoubtedly much stronger than anyone anticipated. And I think it's a really good start off to the year, right? I think a lot of people are still quite skeptical regarding the ability to actually meet 5% GDP growth this year um, against the policymakers' target of around 5% for this year. I think this is a great start. The base effect is going to be way lower in the second quarter as well. So I think we're going to be tracking higher than 5% target for the second quarter. And hopefully by the third quarter, a lot of the policy stimulus will have come through and We'll actually, I think, have a decent chance of seeing GDP upward revisions from the sell side um, as we move throughout the year. How much higher than 6% can people go at this point in time? Because 6% seems like the top, and I think Goldman is the most bullish on the street in that one. Uh, well, I'm not saying that we're going to actually beat 6%. I think the street consensus is probably uh, 5% or a little bit lower than 5% still. So I think there's definitely a bit of skepticism there. Um, indeed, I think the very strong consumption in the first quarter makes sense. If you actually go to China recently, as I have, um, there's just people everywhere in terms of restaurants and airplanes and hotels and so on and so forth. Everything is absolutely packed. Uh, to some extent, that will start to wear off as we get closer to the latter part of the year when that revenge travel uh, starts to wear off. And um, indeed, there are still some parts of consumption, like auto sales, for example, that are going to be suffering. Um, but I think the benefits of a lot of the uh, total social financing and M2 um, that we have seen in the past couple of months, um, as well as potentially um, some of the infrastructure project approvals and gradual normalization of the property market, those should start to feed in into the second half numbers to um, you know, show some uh, st stable trends and hopefully upward revisions to the average GDP forecast.